Uh, good evening, Dennis, and thank you for joining us uh, after this game against uh, Redditch United. Uh, Dennis, you must be pulling your hair out. That was a, a real game of two halves. Yeah, absolutely. I thought first half was obviously the best we've done this year. Uh, we're not four or five to the good at half time. I don't know the amount of um, chances that were created. And then as soon as they scored the goal in the second half, we absolutely crumbled under pressure. Um, and every time they broke away, then they, they looked like they was going to create something. We just, um, you know, fell apart. We crumbled as a team. Despite the changes in personnel, and the, you've made a number of signings over the last couple of weeks, it's the same result. Um, where do you feel that, you know, we lost that game today? Well, we didn't take a chance his first half. If we were in clinical first half, then um, I think there would have been no return for Redditch in the second half. I mean, he was there, it was quite clear to see that, you know, it was totally dominant. Um, plenty of balls into the box, but we didn't take our chance. I mean, we had two set-piece corners that we had clear chances from five yards out with a, <coughs> for a strike on goal. And we've, we've, not, um, we've not put it away, and that was just two of the corners. But there was countless opportunities in the first half, and if we'd have been clinical, then we'd have been out of sight. Well, we need to move on to Tuesday evening now, and a really tough game uh, at home at the Lama course. Um, to league leaders Kettering Town. Um, how do you prepare the lads for that after today's defeat? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things has got to go on. I mean, obviously, I'm fuming. I've um, said a few things in the dressing room. Obviously, we're speaking directly after the game now. But, you know, we'll look at the video, we'll look at the stats, and we'll prepare the best we can for Tuesday once we've gone through all that over the weekend. But, yeah, you know, it's disappointing, obviously, second half, you know, I thought we had a really good first half. And like I say, when the goal went in, I thought we absolutely crumbled as a team. Um, and that was really disappointing. What do you feel are the positives you can take out from today's game, even though we ended in defeat? You, you've mentioned, obviously, the first half there, but th there's got to be some positives there in your mind to take forward out of today's game. Well, but the positives are that if we, do, if we are clinical in the first half and we're coming at half-time 5-0 to the good or 4-0 to the good, the game's done and dusted probably, and it's a different story second half. We probably maybe run out 4-0 winners, perhaps, but... They still had something to fight for at 1-0 because we hadn't um, been clinical enough and put the game to bed. And once they got that first goal, which was their, probably their first opportunity on goal, when we've um, slipped over, was it? I think one of the players slipped over and given the opportunity just to square it inside. So poor mistake defensively. And then at 1-0 then they've got something to fight for. But, you know, they were time-wasting at 1-1. You know, it's not as if they're, they're looking for the win. We've just gifted it to them. The next one was, again, poor defending. Uh, didn't defend the, the box properly and they've got to get us as a second and obviously we're chasing it right at the end and he, he bangs a worldie in there right at the end but the game would have been different if we'd have um, put our chance away first half. Well, you've already alluded to Dennis the, um, the, the mental aspect of the, of the squad because we crumbled under pressure and obviously as manager it's your job to try and bring the right personnel in to cope with these situations yeah. and how do you how do you move forward with this now? What What's the answer to, to getting this right moving forward? Well, and the answer is I've got to get out and get the right personnel in. I mean, if you look at today, three people that I brought in started the game. Um, you know, potentially I might need 11. You know, if they are mentally weak, you know, that's my third game. We haven't withdrawn or lost two. But... You know, we've, we've pretty much lost all the games before that, in a sense. Or we haven't won with um, before that. So there's a deficiency in the group, but most of them are under contract. You know, if you're under contract, it's your decision whether you go or whether you stay. I just can't say to a player that you're leaving the football club because he can just say that I'm staying here all season. So it's not easy to get out and get in. Um, if you, if you can get out, you can obviously look to get in because you can't just go and spend more money. You have a budget that you have to work to. So it's a difficult job because maybe the ones that I want to target to get out of the football club and the areas that I want to improve on, I can't quite do that at the moment because the, the money's not available. Um, so we have to get out first. So, you know, it's a it's a difficult job that I thought, you know, after I've been here for the first game or so, that I was hoping that I might only need one or two, but it does look like I'd probably need five or six. Um, but that's just the way it is, you know, I've inherited a group that I think is mentally weak and we need to, you know, we can't change that overnight. There, there's some good footballers in the group for sure, but 
he showed today, second half, that um, there is a problem there. And unfortunately, the only way you can address it is by um, bringing players in that could can handle the pressure. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, Dennis. No problem.